Today I will be flying the F2H Banshee and discovering how much trouble I can get myself in. Along the way I hope to cover its in-game characteristics, a little bit about its creation history, a little bit about its design, and some combat history for you. This is an aircraft that after several hours flying I still can't say I'm 100% confident with it. It has some quirks, it has some great advantages. My main thing I've had to basically learn for this aircraft is when am I defeated? and when do I have the vantage because the line in this thing is very very blurred and what I mean by that is it has exceptional low speed maneuverability but you hit that certain point with speed and then it just locks up and it basically flies like a cinder block so you need to learn where that line is and it's kind of a blurry line you've seen many of Banshee pilots I'm sure go straight into the ground and that's because they crossed the line this aircraft though, I'd like to talk about the one previously to it that's not in game, which is the FH Phantom. I'd like to see that added in as like a US Navy jet that would be comparable to the P or F-80 in terms of the tech tree. It came about 1945, 1946, four M2 Brownings, basically a smaller Banshee with less powerful engines. The Banshees derived from that aircraft. I think that would be a nice addition to the game. The F2H2 that we're flying right now has more powerful engines, four cannons, and then you can see the wingtip fuel tanks, they added those because these early turbine jets suck down as much fuel as possible, so this aircraft is just, it has fuel shoved in every available space. One advantage to the tip tanks though that they did not foresee is it actually helps with the aircraft aircraft's ability to roll, which is why the Panther liked them as well. Now we're going to be flying here, this is some extremely aggressive clouds we'll call them. I cannot see anything but I'm gonna use this to kinda of sneak around the map. I'm trying to shadow that meteor down there in case he gets swarmed I want to be able to jump on whatever's on him. So we're gonna use those bombing points and the meteor as my reference point to fly through this cloud. Even though I'm blind I'm hoping that he will spot anything he sees. Oh, oh god. That is the infamous IL-28 recon plane up in the upper atmosphere. There's another IL-28 down there. I make it a policy when I'm flying the Banshee to stay as far away as possible from the IL-28s unless I have like a complete advantage or it's absolutely necessary. Me and the IL-28s have not gotten along. I'll be honest, I will not be sending them a Christmas card. That's the only thing I see. A They destroyed the bridge. All right, this cloud is ridiculous. I'm going to dive a bit below and see if I can see anything myself. All right, broke the cloud. There's something to my left behind me. There's LA-15 right there. That's my primary target. I'm going to convert all this airspeed back into altitude. Try to get a better angle of attack and also sneak up on him because he won't be able to see me in these clouds. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to stall out, basically, roll back over on my back. Nice little roll right here, and hopefully I'll drop in at a better angle. The clouds have me completely turned around. I actually don't know where my horizon is. There we go, that's better. A little lost right there. There's the LA-15. This is what I was talking about, how it likes to fly with the cinder block. I'd like to be able to make this shot right here, but I'm not going to be able to get the nose around. Maybe? Nope. It's not terrible, but it is something you have to take an account for. Planes like the Meteor, the Venom, the MiG-9 will outmaneuver you in most cases. Let's see, roll back here. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? But at lower speeds like this, I'm more confident with this aircraft because I know I now have the advantage. And also, he's preoccupied with chasing on that bomber. Take a shot there. Here we go. This is a nice shot. There's a hit, and he just went to the ground. Easy done. I'm going to straighten out. There's a MiG-9. I'm going to fly straight. You know, he's somewhat close to me. I know I have enough speed here to hopefully escape. Uh, let's see. Let me turn under him. I don't actually know if I have enough speed to escape. This aircraft, I've never been able to rip my wings on it with these hard G turns, so... Put that in a, uh, I guess, exploit category. It does outmaneuver. I don't know if it's exploit, but, there, you know, there's some planes in this game that if you hit 5 or 6 Gs, the wings will snap. There's negative 5 Gs right there. These wings just do not break off on this aircraft, and I don't particularly know why in one jet, 5 Gs cause it to shatter, and, and this craft, it can... I think I've had it up to 12 Gs and not had any problems, so... 
the Banshee you can do these hard turns like this and basically have no fear of your aircraft braking. But since this aircraft is kind of limited in the turning capability, I think it all kind of works out in the end. Oh, there's that MiG-9, let's see. He just hurt that F-80, he's going... Where is he going? He's turning down into the inside, I'm going to see if I can get a deflection shot here. Nope, I'm going to straighten back out and head to the right here a bit. Where is he? There's a MiG-15, that now takes top priority. Roll back on the MiG-9. Where are you going, mister? I'm going to have a nice shot at the MiG-9. Let's eliminate him from this fight so it becomes three on one. We don't want to fight fair. Take a shot. There's a... Looks like an elevator flew off. I'm going to leave him be. He should be dead anyway. MiG-15. What are you going to do? You're going to go head on. Nope. He's going to go above me. I'm going to roll back. MiG-9 just died. Come on, roll back, roll back. Alright, here we go. MiG-15 is on the F-80. No, he's going zoom me back up. Going around. Come on, come on, give me a shot, give me a shot. Alright, this is exactly not nice job. The F-80 is dragging him in a straight line. This should be the end of him in a minute. If the F-80 turns, I will be able to hopefully come in and pounce on the MiG-15. Let's see if he'll do that for me. That MiG-15 is clearly going to outrun me. F-80 started his turn. Here we go. This is my shot. Nice big wide loop turn. Make 15 overshot. And here's my moment. Nice. There we go. That was actually quite easy. That's what happens when you are set up for a kill. It all comes together. So that was a pretty fast round. I think I'll fly a second one. This plane, matchmaker wise, sits in between a gap where you'll either face MiG 15s, LA 15s, LA 174s, MiG 9s, Venoms, Vampires, Meteors. Or you'll be facing CL-13s and MiG-15 bisses. I don't understand. It's kind of in that gap where you either get tiered either at your level or down tiered. Or you get basically maximum up tiered to the top. And so with this plane you just need a little bit of luck of matchmaker where you can fight things that you can basically say are on your level performance wise. Let's see what we get for results. And then we'll fly another round because I feel that was way too short. Way too much success was had. We need more. We need more danger. And there's rewards. Sixty something thousand lions. This plane is fully upgraded. We got a battle trophy. That's not bad. I'll I'll take that. That's a nice little chunk of change. Usually I get the thing to the left of it or to the right. But hey, I actually won something in a battle trophy. For our second round, we got everybody's favorite island destination, the Pacific, Hokkaido. Now, a little bit about this plane again. Um, it didn't see much combat history. The first squadron that went into Korea was VF-172 in August of 51. Their first mission was to escort B-29s. This plane had a limited fighter-bomber role. The Panther kind of took over that theater. And actually, a majority of the Banshees were actually stationed in the Atlantic or Mediterranean fleets, so it wasn't a primary player in the Korean theater. It is important to note, though, that the Marines and the Navy both used the Banshee over Korea as a photo recon plane, and that was its greatest, probably, service contribution. And we have a Meteor off to the right. Now, unlike last game, the Meteors and the Venoms and the Vampires will maneuver or outmaneuver this aircraft. Performance terms, I would say that they're both, for the most part, equal to Venom. And the later Meteors will be on par with the Banshee, if not maybe slightly better. So we need to change up our tactics. I'm going to try to do a little bit more disciplined energy fighting. You will see me with this Banshee. I like to go up and then kind of stall out, do the big loop, and then fall back down. Two reasons. A, I'm trying to conserve my altitude. I want to change my energy into altitude and then attack downhill. But also this plane really turns like basically crap left or right and so I'm trying to use 
this makes any sense, the elevator to save the energy and then help out my teammates faster, get back to that fight with more advantage. So I'm going to fly straight past. I'm not going to turn around and attack those guys head on. It appears that one of them wants to chase me. So we're going to climb here and see when he loses interest because I am outperforming him. All right, he just disappeared. He can't see me. Here we go. I'm going to do the kind of go flop over here. I'm going to roll over. Actually, let's go do a, like a split S maneuver here. Not really split S, but roll downward and attack. Change it up. Be different. Here's the meteor. He's still chasing me. I have plenty of room. Meteors have basically equal arm at 4 twin meter cannons. I'm going to not see how my luck is today. I'm going to wait at the last second and then do a hard break to the right. And then cut it back a little bit to the left. He won't be able to match that. There's 9Gs. Like I was talking about how this plane does not blow apart when you pull these high G maneuvers. There goes a the friendly. He's chasing him. I'm not going to worry about him. Let's put him in the rearview mirror and get away. Hopefully that Banshee can handle him. I'm going to go back into the basically flight over here and see what's happening. Is he going to catch? I'm paranoid about that meteor now. I'm going to zoom climb a bit here and see if I can drag him up to my altitude. Maybe that Banshee can catch him and take him. Try a little dragon bag right here. I'm going to roll over. He's now underneath me. I'm going to stall out here a bit. Let him pass under me and make an attack. I was hoping to leave this guy in my dust, but he keeps charging me. Two friendlies on him. Hopefully if they make him turn to the right here, this will be easy kill for me. Friendly just overshot. The second one's taking shots. I'm coming in extremely fast for this aircraft. I'm about to hit my max speed in here in a second. Take some shots, and the nose won't come out. That's what I mean by flying like a cinder block. It's not terrible, but you do have to account for high speeds. That nose just locks up. And I'm comparing it to the Panther, where the Panther has high-speed maneuverability, and this aircraft doesn't. That's not a fair comparison. The Panther is a more modern... It's the next generation of jets, per se, but this, you know... I, I like to compare them, because they're basically... Basically opponents to each other, even though the Panther is further along in the technology. Let's roll over. Where is it? Let's see. Who wants to be my target? We have a bunch of friendlies chasing that meteor. Meteor over there. Two meteors down there. Meteors everywhere. I'm trying to decide which one's going to be the better target. I want to go for that first one. I think he'll be an easier shot, but I don't want to drop in in front of the other one, so we're going to go for the back one, which is not the angle that I want. I don't think I'll be able to pull this nose up in time. Oh, hang on. Maybe. He's flying straight as an arrow. I'm right behind him. All right. This is... Here we go. There's some shots, and... Come on. Here we go. This is what I mean. Struggling with the nose here. There's a hit. The other guy is just going straight up. I don't know what to do. I'm in trouble here. I don't know what's going on. Let's stay on our original target. See something shiny. Lose you know, lose concentration. Diving back on him. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? He is going over the place. I'm just going to wait and try to... Wait for my shot. Here we go. He's going up. He's going down. Take a shot there. I just missed. Right here. That, that looks good. And that's a kill. There's a guy behind me. I'm going to stay flying straight. He just broke off to the right. So we're going to simply just wait a second. Make my aggressive turn here. This guy looks like he's going head on with me. I'm going to take a shot. He's not quite lined up. Oh wow, that, that actually worked. All right, let's dive down on this guy. This is fun now. Take some shots. He's just sitting there nicely for me. He's done. Just cleaning house with the Banshee. I wish it was always this easy. All right, so what is left? We got a bunch of friendlies left. This has been a really good team. 
Got a meteor to the right and a meteor to the left. I'm going to wait and see. The guy on the right looks like he wants to go for a head-on, possibly. Down his direction and below. That's a hard shot for him to make. Recover. He's going behind me. There's one guy right there. There's three of them. Okay. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. One meteor just got killed. Excellent job by that banshee. Going to do upwards turn here, roll backwards, and see if I can get a shot on that meteor. Since he's previously engaged, this is going to make it easier. He's going to go up, and he's going right in front of my guns. He's toast. I would call this another successful round. So the Banshee is good. It's just you have to... Word to any new pilots that get it. Get the upgrades, and then take some time and learn where the line is. And what I mean by the line is, is where where does it basically lawn dart and where does it maneuver? And you just have to learn to balance speed and a little bit of tactics. But it's not a... As a... Oh wow, that guy just went straight to the water, so that makes that easy. Alright, let's see if we can form up here with this other banshee. Form up and head home. Give him a little wing wave as I pass by and see if he returns the jester. Come on, we just won. Wave, we won. We're the victors. We beat our allies over a fictional battle. Wave. He doesn't want to wave. Whatever. Four kills, I think that might actually be a personal best in the Banshee. Just kind of happened to work out tonight. And rewards are four kills. 81,000 lions. I'm getting ever so closer to that Skyrider.